There's so much to learn about the telephone. I'm not sure where to start. I guess it's best to begin at, well, the beginning. Most people know that Alexander Graham Bell is given credit as the inventor of the telephone, and because of this, his name has gone down in history. However, the telephone did not just instantly appear. Its development can be traced back, starting with the telegraph. When most people think of the telegraph, they picture some old guy wearing a green sun visor, tapping away in a movie about the old west. Well, that is a telegraph, but only one type of telegraph. The word tele means distance, and graph means written or word. So telegraph can be translated to mean something like distant word. The Encyclopedia Britannica says a telegraph is any device or system that allows the transmission of information by coded signal over distance. Many telegraphic systems have been used over the centuries. In fact, the very first telegraph, which was developed in 1792 by a Frenchman named Claude Chappé, was a series of towers with a set of ten pattern cloths on top. By arranging the patterns in different ways, information was signaled from one tower to the next. This way, information could be transmitted great distances, and this was a huge improvement over just using light signals. The next development was the electrical telegraph, invented in 1844 by Samuel Morse. Morse was able to send text messages long distances over wire. He also invented a standard code for sending these messages, which is still in use today. Can you guess what it's called? That's right, Morse code. The next development came in 1854 when it was discovered that sound waves could be converted to electromagnetic signals and back to sound waves again. In 1861, a German inventor named Philip Reis was able to transmit musical tones across a set of electrical wires. At this point, we were getting very close to the telephone. Finally, in 1876, two inventors created a working telephone. One was Alexander Graham Bell, and the other was Elisha Gray. Guess which man made it to the patent office first? Well, I'm sure you all guessed that it was Bell, as very few people have ever heard of Elisha Gray. Bell beat Gray to the patent office by just hours, which is a good example of why it's important not to waste time. Regardless of who really invented the phone, one of the strangest things about the development of the telephone was that neither Gray nor Bell started out to build a telephone. Both were trying to find a way to send multiple telegraph signals over the same wire at the same time. Essentially, both were trying to create the first broadband network and accidentally came up with a telephone.